Amazon cut down its list of possible sites for its new headquarters today. That's the good news. The bad news is Western New York applied, but we didn't make the cut. News Force Rachel Bon Jovi talked to local business leaders about where to go from here after today's decision. Rachel? Don, Jackie, Amazon started searching for their second location last year. Out of more than 200 proposals, including a joint bid from Buffalo and Rochester, 20 cities remain on the table. Although Buffalo wasn't selected, there may be other opportunities headed this way. We all know Buffalo is making a comeback. The medical corridor is growing and tech companies are popping up all around the Queen City. But can we handle a powerhouse company like Amazon? Buffalo can compete. We should stop thinking of ourselves as not being able to compete. Thursday, Amazon narrowed the list of metro areas for its newest headquarters. Major cities like Chicago and Boston topped the list of 20. Buffalo and Rochester's didn't make the cut. We thought we put together a pretty compelling proposal. We were disappointed. A lot of time and effort went into it. Economic professor at Buff State, Fred Floss, says transportation in Buffalo needs improved. I think the biggest thing that we lack is that we don't have mass transit that goes from our airport to our downtown. If we want to attract a lot more attention, we're going to need a larger airport. Buffalo and Rochester's bid highlighted low operation costs, affordability, and a central location close to an international border. Because of the way we put together this proposal, we can use it for other opportunities. Which could lead to tech giant Apple. Apple just announced its plans to build a second campus Campus, which would employ 20,000 people. Erie County Legislator Joe Larigo asked the company to consider Western New York. You know, we're going to try our best to put uh, a package together and hopefully bring Apple here, even though we lost out on Amazon. Now, city leaders aren't officially rolling out the economic impact Amazon could bring to Western New York. New York City and Toronto are still on the list. Many think those cities could still bring benefits to our region. Reporting live, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 11.